guys, welcome back to Operation RV. So it's been a little bit since I've been able to have a chance to upload a video. So today we've got something really cool going on for Blue here. So stick around and we'll find out what this bad boy is. All right, so in the box here, you, get, you do get your set of um, header gaskets here. That's the part number with BBK. I'm gonna go ahead and use those. A lot of people might wanna use Felpro or whatever, but uh, these are good. Uh, good awesome I guess uh, headers that have a lot of uh, reviews and, uh, and, and everything out there so these gaskets aren't anything that's cheap um, and looking at the con overall construction you can you can tell that it's overall pretty good product plus the reviews out there say say so I like to set my stuff up to be organized so I have my eight bolts here for my passenger side and I got my eight bolts there for my driver's side. So it does come with all the actual hardware and most importantly to get an additional 50 horsepower out of these, we have uh, decals. So that's gonna be pretty impressive. So let's stick around. All right, we got some goodies here from Summit. Uh, there's the part number here. Does indicate for an 86 and 92 Mustang 5.0 or 302. And you guys are already aware that this is a 351 Windsor. Well, um, the header bolts up to the exact same thing uh, as far as the pattern of the 302 versus the 351 Windsor on the header. So what I'm having problems with and problem for the last three months uh, is trying to find headers that are gonna fit inside here and having clearance on the transmission, of course, you know, um, not hitting any of the, um, the steering gears or anything like that. I even called Headman headers, uh, and they said there's nothing for this truck. So I'm kind of winging it here and off some forums and reviews, I heard these, uh, BBK shorties model number 1515 is perfect for this. There, there'll be optimal clearance, um, from the frame and the starter along with bolting right up to the actual header. So, um, my truck is unique. Like you probably watched my, my walkthrough video. This was originally, uh, had the inline six with three speed on the floor, which now has a 351, uh, Windsor with a C6 automatic transmission. So that's the variance of this truck is because this motor is out of an 85 Bronco. So I probably could have got some headers, you know, aiming more at a Bronco, but I didn't want to take that chance because, Review after review, you know, I've heard a lot of people having to send them back and I, I, I want to work on this truck and not worry about sending parts back and forth, you know, to these distributors. So I've already matched it up to the actual header. It fits fine. I'll show you here momentarily, but to take these old rusty bad boys off. All right. Um, definitely you want to penetrate your... Um, your header bolts with some PB Blaster, uh, which I definitely used on all 16 of these bolts. And I just let it sit overnight and it was fine. And you go ahead and remove them uh, with a 9 socket and they came off with ease. Uh, the new ones here are actually uh, 3 8 That's what you'll install these new bad boy shorty headers. Look at that, look at the difference of that guys. That is beautiful. So y'all stick around, we're gonna get these installed and hopefully have turnkey today. All right, so real quick guys, I tried to attempt to do this uh, one-handed and holding the camera, but that didn't work out. So I have it propped up here. Uh, what I went ahead and did first is I started with this first one and just put the uh, header bolt in there, just, uh, uh, tightened it probably about three threads and then I went to the back one so now as you see I have room to where I can use both hands and start feeding the rest of these um, in each um, bolt hole so so far I haven't had any problems and so what I'm going to do is just continue going down the line here let me get up close I can get a better representation here these bolts go in pretty pretty simple which I was kind of, uh, uh, let me see here. Trying to, 
by the uh, video and also show you here getting those tightened in. So that go right in. So they go right in, which is nice. So I'm just gonna walk down each of these here and just kind of hand tighten them. Uh, specs say, because these are three eighths inch bolts, that the torque recommendation is anywhere from 27 to 33. Uh, so I'm gonna get out my torque wrench and get all torqued down and then we'll move over to the driver's side. Look at that guys, it's gonna be perfect clearance. See right down in there, it's gonna go straight down. That's my un, uh, unbolted exhaust uh, remedy that we had on the manifolds there, one of those flex exhaust pipes, but uh, you see the angle here it goes straight right back down there and there's the starter no problem there not hitting anything and you have access to all the plugs so that's the main main plus for me it was line up this gasket a little bit while you brace it definitely helps Let's try it again now that it's a little bit more level to each uh, header port all right, guys, so I'm about to do my first initial uh, cold start. Haven't heard uh, what it sounds like, so you all be the first, just like I will. All right. This is open headers. I don't have my full exhaust brand yet. 